with uh, with how Maxwell's content has been recently, I, th I thought it was very fitting to go back and look at some of the older stuff as he did. And seeing as we know we're definitely going to be getting Bloodborne 2 in the near future. Right? R right? Let's celebrate that notion of definitive Bloodborne 2 sequels by watching Maxor's original Bloodborne 2 review and hearing just how much his mic quality used to suck back in the day. <laughs> so, you guys know the drill. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please make sure you go like and watch the original, and uh, let's amuse ourselves with Sensory Overload. Bloodborne is a Lovecraftian horror RPG. Oh. Oh, that mic quality. I keep forgetting just how bad it was. I say bad. He still made it work that no one understands by definition where the player is free to attack hordes of human children at will and consume their innards Average if that in-depth and engaging anti-baby gameplay appears Maxwell's talking about like attacking children and murdering innocence innocence like it's uh, a bad thing this is a from soft game if you're not murdering some grotesque abomination in some affront to the geneva convention are you even playing a from software game Appeals to you. This Keep is listening because a Geneva it gets Convention worse. Violation in this game, suggestion. you play as John Bloodborne, a foreigner incapable of speech without the use of sign Disguised language. Disguised as a video game. with Habsburg disease, comes to the ancient city of London, seeking treatment for the sins of his cousin. Now listen, just because Bloodborne was meant as a real-world simulation representation of what it's like to live in modern London... No, you're absolutely right. This is exactly what it is. I can say with certainty that this is the most appropriate representation of uh, regular London. I've been there. I've seen it. In doing so, he will begin hallucinating talking dolls, spider people, and the great... Oh, you mean Journeying patches? Further, Spine John patches? Bloodborne becomes conscripted into the service of a gay elder god and the 60-year-old man he keeps as a pet. And is... Well, shit, dude. <laughs> It's wild to see how much Maxor's, like, style has evolved since. Like, when did this come out originally? Three years ago. His style and quality has just improved so much. But yet, he is spitting facts. You would think that he might be hazing you, but when you look back at Bloodborne and you think about it, Certainly one of the more unhinged of the da of the souls likes. Is given the ultimate task of give us Bloodborne an too. Infant in order to cure his anemia. Can't believe we're going to have to just put up with Bloodborne cards. The player must journey through dark forests, terrifying nightmares, and the meth-ridden alleyways of a post-Brexit Britain, slaying monsters. I want to make a comment about how this has aged poorly. About how the post-Brexit post Britain is nothing like this. But when I look outside my window and I see the fires and the racism and the contrived bigots that have decided that Brexit was a great opportunity for them to show the rest of the world just how racist they truly are. It's not far off. It's all an allegory. This, this Bloodborne has become a more appropriate allegory for post-Brexit Britain than it ever was when Bloodborne first came out. It's becoming more and more relevant by the day. Exploring and tricking women into being impregnated by God so you can consume the child of yes, this game. Yes, average Britain day, average Britain day. Metroidvania with something new around every corner. A great action RPG which pits you against insurmountable odds and extreme challenges and has a gripping story and lore about this. So I want to I want to say this as well. In terms of like all of the From Software games, I actually think like, okay. When you ask somebody what their favorite From Soft Souls-like game is, it's one of the most diverse questions you can ever ask someone. And no matter what you come up with, if you don't have the exact same answer as somebody else, people with a different tier list to you will call you scum and think that you're gaslighting them. I... I know I'm going to get hate for this. I don't think Bloodborne was really that good. I think there was a big limitation on the fact that it was a console game that hindered its potential success. But just generally... I kind of think Bloodborne was overrated. It was fun and thematically uh, interesting, but it is very overrated. I I I liked it, and and don't get me wrong, I don't think there's a single bad from software uh, Souls like game. But in in all of the from software Souls likes, I I kind of have Bloodborne in the lower echelons of that tier list. Like I get that it was different. I get that it was unique. But that didn't make it better or good. It was fun and enjoyable. But it definitely wasn't, for me, my most enjoyable.
discovering the eldritch truth so if you can play it yourself because i'm not going to hold back on the details it's, it's, still, no it's not it's not bad don't get me wrong entertainment first so i, I, don't I just ranked me most of the others about it also the persona references in this <laughs> however most people can't <gasps> play this game vtubers from three years ago maxwell actually being based all that time ago i keep forgetting that maxwell was like one of the first like content creators to acknowledge vtubers <laughs> Because it was cringe and weeby. Most can't play this game ever because you have to buy a four hundred dollar magical box sold by the wizard. <gasps> That's so right, even... dude! I forgot. I literally bought my PlayStation Four back in the day. I literally bought my PlayStation Four for Bloodborne. My PlayStation Four originally was a Bloodborne machine. That's all it was. The only reason I bought my blood, my PS Four. And at least, I mean, at least back then with the PlayStation Four, it had a game. What's the PlayStation Five got? Fucking nothing. I think I bought my PlayStation 5 solely so I could play Demon Souls. Or the remaster of Demon Souls. But that's just a remake. It's not even a new game. I mean, maybe I think the only validation to buy a PlayStation 5 is God of War at this point. But those come to PC. <laughs> Three years after, Final after the PlayStation 5 came out and it still has no games. It is a paperweight on my desk. In order to experience it. I mean, probably about 16, maybe. It in an amazing 30 frames per second with no anti-aliasing. Port this game to PC, I beg of you. In fact, <laughs> I can assume that. Oh no, Maxor, I'm so sorry. He's still waiting. He's still waiting. People watching this video will basically never play the game, but keep watching because I'm hilarious and original. Do that, and you need and mid -rolls. I can give you the full, unfiltered, uncensored, unsubstantiated, and unsportsmanlike experience. Okay, okay. I'm saying, you know. Elden Ring, uh, sorry, uh, Bloodborne might not have been my It'll favorite. That, and I can give Souls like, the full, unfiltered. but it did have it, its perks. And no, I'm not a furry. But what that snoot do though? <laughs> Uncensored, unsubstantiated, and unsportsmanlike experience that is Bloodborne. <laughs> da 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 da. Ah, the gameplay is good what old, makes this a game good old Max though. The Always making the anime references. Is simple but complicated. On a simple level, your baby brain is responsible for only two tasks: dodging and hitting. And dodging in this game renders you temporarily invincible. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. Because every single enemy is adjusted to keep pace with you. Basic enemies are basically able to whoop your ass into fucking non-existence. Every encounter there. The difference between people who do and do not play a, a Souls-like game. People who don't play Souls-like games are gonna look at it from the outside and be like. Ah, so you're just dodging and hitting. That sounds so easy. I could do that. And then the person you're saying that to says, with a smile on their face, do it. Do it, motherfucker. With an evil grin. <laughs> Knowing that they're about to watch the unraveling of someone's sanity. And within moments of playing, that person will lose every iota of sanity and every soul in their body. Therefore, is tense and engaging. When you kill someone, it's uh, years ago, and Yoshi, thank you for the did. On a complicated level, you have a gun, and normally Whoa. bullets hurt people, but in Guns London, and bullets are like? a suggestion, like the Geneva. And yet, Bloodborne is possibly the only Souls-like game where ranged weaponry would be valid. Have you ever tried using ranged weapons in any of the other Souls-like games? I have a friend of mine, Dandy Floss, who unironically did an entire run of um, Elden Ring using the uh, Jar Cannon. And it was the most hilarious, gritty thing I've ever seen in my life. It was like a game of chess in the works. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, Astra. I appreciate you. How's your stream? A convention. Here in England, it's all about the knife bins. Except when yeah. you shoot somebody mid attack, you, got a you gain the mystical stabbing. and arcane ability to plunge your fist through their ribcage like Mortal Kombat and rip out their heart, which is considered rude and a slight annoyance. This extends to behind them if you charge an attack, which sometimes causes you to reach up a pig's asshole. I forgot that was a thing. Don't look, chat. Don't look. Do we need a sensor bar over this thing. Oh my god, I... Oh, I forgot they put a pig's asshole in this game. Somebody had to have animated that. Somebody knew this animation existed and was like, yup. No, we're, we're gonna ship it. 
We're gonna ship it. Without the prostate like fruit by the foot. Side note, the most optimal farming route for currency in this game is called Murgo's Pig Fisting Route. See, I nope, changed the it's called uh, and in Chalice Dungeon. Sneak up behind this guy and do him Go the into dirt. that one specific then, Chalice Dungeon that gives you stupid souls and just all that for days. 13. Repeat 50 times. On a complicateder level, every single weapon in the game has two different modes with two different I did, I, that was probably the one thing that I really love about the game is having the different modes to your weapons. The weapons are some of the best out of any Souls game. Your character memorizes squiggly lines it's just everything else was a bit eh. gods for passive bonuses that work regardless of weaponry my favorites are more money more money and more money they stand and more bitches. on a meta theoretical give me maidens level every weapon is customizable with different gem slots they give differing effects for your attacks retrospectively there are different types that can literally retrospectively bloodborne is i think the only souls game where you actually get maidens think about it you have a literal sex doll in your hideout You actually get made, which might mean that Bloodborne is actually the best Souls game, actually. <laughs> Change all of the stats of the weapon, like making a fucking spear do more damage based off of intelligence. There's definitely more and a lot of strategy in how you level I, your I, character. I feel like I a lot of what happened in Bloodborne in got to, uh, all this combat prowess, have you added into Sekiro. Oh, not Sekiro, uh, Elden Ring, sorry. Fighting on screen. Well, to learn that much, we're going to have to delve into the lore. So buckle your britches, bitches, because this shit is wild. If I say something Almost as wild as me. accept it as fact. I can be trusted. 60 years ago, 20 rowdy college students. Listen, if I can trust anybody to tell me that shit's gonna get wild maxwell is gonna be that guy if maxwell tells me invites me to a friggin uh sorority party telling me it's gonna be wild you damn well better be sure that i'm bringing the extra large trojan condoms and enough uh anti-alcohol pills to deal with a kidney failure <laughs> Or live family, sorry. Extremely seriously. This man knows what he's talking about. Cthulhu. She was just in a portable toilet. I trust somebody who has as much brain rot as I do. The god of the sea with some bats, but that's a story for later. It turns out the entire world is ruled and created by a race of elder gods beyond human Okay, okay, like our real ones. world, Figuring like our real out, world. They got Cthulhu's blood, and we're like, we can make a religion out of this because it turns out the blood can heal people, which is yep, really just like England. The knife crime. So everyone starts <laughs> drinking it a little too much, and they get the money to build thirty-six cathedrals, but it turns. Y yeah, just just like modern England. Also, they went to the same school as Games Workshop on how many cathedrals are enough cathedrals, at which point both Games Workshop and Bloodborne are like, yes. How many? Yes. Turns out eventually the blood turns you into a werewolf. So we do need a Bloodborne too, but let's face it, we're never going to get it. With an organization known and I'm hoping hunters, I can say that beasts, and jinx so it now the so that crime is my, my luck with saying things and getting proven wrong comes true. So I'll say we won't get it, but then we will because I said we won't. Amazonian. He also canonically has sex with it. The moon <laughs> god, for some reason, kind of takes notice of this and is like, all right, listen, I'm building a suicide squad. I will bring your waifu to laifu if you serve me for all time as my slave. German reasonably thinks that this is a great deal and is imprisoned in a dream. This is where you come in. See, the moon god assassinates baby gods for fun, but needs a hitman to go into the real world to do it since he's confined to the ninth dimension. So in addition- You know, I never actually- I, I never actually questioned the story of Bloodborne. And really, questioning the story of any From Software game ever is more about questioning your own sanity. And it's more of a trip into- what would be the word? Unnecessariness? Like trying to trying to decipher the story of a soul's like is like deciphering insanity in of itself. It's pointless. It's kind of funny when you get there. But does it really change your experience? I mean, the Vati Vidya five hour long uh lore videos might make you think otherwise. But really, the only thing you're testing is your patience. Because at the end of the day, you're still gonna kill eldritch abominations in a Lovecraftian universe. It just might be that you have slightly more brain cells by the end of it all. To fighting all manner of giant beasts and uncovering dark secrets. The ah, yes. Are we fighting Eldritch Abomination number one There's or Eldritch Abomination number two today? So comment your own poorly summarized Bloodborne lore below. And for the rest of us non shills, we have ample time to explain more of what makes this game great. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you have been jinxed. I am talking about bosses before I talk about the levels. In most video games, the bosses, bosses were fun. I will give them that. But in Except for the three, uh, three dudes. And nothing will challenge your the skill three snake the guys. Level. Except for the goddamn witches of Hemwick, who were placed into the game for disability access. <laughs> you can probably tell that Bloodborne oh my God. is a hard game. We don't even know if a games journalist can beat it. But it's hard in a fair way that tests your skills and reaction time. Except for Lawrence, but I'll get back. So, I was...
was looking for some footage to get ready for the Elden Ring challenge that we're doing soon, and I had to Google Elden Ring objectives. And I have never seen as much petty, deplorable, low IQ, missing the entire point troglodytes as the people who are filling the Elden Ring forums saying, what's the point? Why is this game so hard? This game needs an objective list. No, motherfucker, you need to get good. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That's just not how these games work. That's the point. You can't, you don't, you're not always going to have games that are there to give you a holding hand. Like, come on, darling, we'll need to get you back to your Zimmer frame. No, 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 we're not giving you objectives today. Back to Lawrence later. What sets this game's bosses apart is that the challenge makes it feel like you're a really small dude. That, that's, a, that's, that's a, that's a building sized deer demon. So yeah, I would be impressed. Parts that the challenge makes it feel like you're a really small dude jabbing a toothpick into a building site. Deer deer. She's come a long way. I remember this model. I remember this model because I commissioned the same people who made her assets to make my assets. Oh, gloriousness. It, I, I'm not so looking at this video for a Bloodborne review, more so how many VTuber references he'll make to make me realize just how far the VTubing space has come in that time. And how far it's fallen. So yeah, I would be impressed if you killed that. But not only that, unlike Dark Souls, every single boss reacts meaningfully to how you attack them. Large beasts can have their bones cracked and their tendons wound into a slinky. Bone boys mm -hmm. can be knocked over and have their Blood marrow certainly has some of the best boss enemies fights like of any of Souls games. Your height difference. As well, every boss punishes you for cowardice and actively discourages backpedaling with their four Dude, Father Gascon completely humbled me when I first played this game. And forth. I, went, I, I went into playing Bloodborne after having played Dark Souls 2, I think? And I distinctively remember be thinking to myself, ah, it's just another Souls game. There's no way this would be that hard to play. I think I must have been fighting Gascon, the very first boss of the game, for well over four hours before I even figured out how, how the mechanics of the game functioned and that I'd have to change my playstyle to adapt to it. Um, who is the really hungry I should be the one to have to change. Why did you have to change? Your heads underground like ostriches. We don't talk about him. And while we're on the subject of bad bosses, this motherfucker. Let oh. me tell you something. The yes. humanoid bosses in this game are oh. paradoxically the most dangerous. But Mikalash is a psychological Mikalash. hazard that will hurt you personally. This boss literally feels like cut content because the fight centers around chasing him, and his direction <laughs> depends on RNG, making him an actual I thought he was funny. killer. When you corner him, he uses one attack, and then you chase him again, where he gains the power to insta kill you god forbid you're hit by it because that's 10 minutes gone here's a tip he uh he would be the equivalent of a filler boss in world of warcraft like imagine you're raiding in world of warcraft and there's like the chess event in karazhan that's what he was save up 10 poison knives and steal from your family if you must then wait until he jumps Just down grab his dick and twist poison it. him repeatedly and watch him spaz the fuck out until death you will thank me but as a result of everyone who isn't miko shit conquering a boss in this game is absolutely rewarding on a level Hell that yeah. other games cannot match it's only because the odds are stacked against you in ways that don't feel bullshit most of the time oh yeah the cleric the okay i can't be the only person who fought the cleric beast only to then find out afterwards that you were supposed to use the item that prevented healing I spent well over eight or nine hours fighting the Cleric Beast, like most people did, only to then realize that there's an item that prevents healing that you were supposed to use to beat them. Play. And their fights are undoubtedly the best I've ever done in video games. But that isn't most of the time in the game. In fact, a lot this of was, your of time course, is spent exploring existed. the area, so let's get into that. <laughs> Lesson one in area design. Where the fuck am I going? Exploration is the name of the game, except it's called Bloodborne. Only this time, you don't bring smallpox and kill 20 million people. We're looking at a solid 10 this time. Hey now, hey now, hey now. In this game are Just because England it's how the developers had a problem sure with a few plagues killing them. The plague of beasts infecting doesn't London mean that we were necessarily doing things bad. Now we just deal with the plague of so it's up to you. Oh, it's British, isn't it, mate? It's fucking British. 
to stop them as a hunter should. If you don't look up where to go next in this game, good fucking luck. People get lost all the time. Yeah. Used to it. This game doesn't yeah. do exploration like oh, you wait, either in this hallway. My dopamine's gonna go bash crazy. your face against That's it long enough to find the uh, find the exit, or you, you lose your patience to early enough to Google it. Ago. And I hope you weren't expecting a but that's the point. It's Every okay to have games that are like that. Sometimes the journey is, is in getting in lost. Point, when people complain that, oh, there's like no objective or direction. Good! Everything. And where you start the game is in the middle of- It's called exploration, motherfucker! Yeah. Maybe get- maybe get outside your box. Maybe- maybe try and play games and be open-minded. A loop de loop involving torturous experimentation. Just look at the fucking map of this game. Everything it's like when Counter Strike players yes, like, suddenly play a story game and wonder why they're not able to pay money to get wins. To the altar of despair, although you would think that. Fittingly, the lecture hall is the smallest area, and more fittingly, 90% of the combat is graduates throwing cum at you. The game <laughs> also has two completely secret areas that you would not find without the internet. I would tell you how to enter, but I don't want to do calculus. And what you get at the end? <laughs> Upper Cathedral Board is legit. You have to think about it though. Every single Souls game from 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 software at some point at some point in the game has some enemy or area that has a suspiciously cum looking substance think about the candle monsters in Elden Ring think about these guys throwing cum think about the uh demons in Dark Souls 2 that throw a uh, suspiciously white substance or the same thing in Dark, Dark Souls 1 or me when I get too excited for killing a boss that I spent five hours on and they get way too excited and blow my load all over the screen either way Come is the basis of uh, a Souls-like game. Legitimately a horror area in a game loved for its combat because it's filled with enemies who act out my greatest fears. Stealing currency permanently gives me fucking chills every time I talk about it. Castle Kanehurst is proof that From Software hates us all since yep. the best area in the entire game requires you to go to the Field of Corn in Ohio <laughs> and trek down Waldo. But it's worth it to invade the house of that parasitic queen dwelling in her demented castle. May she rest in peace, our queen and lord of the nation, who hath been laid to rest under the ground. Her ravioli forever left in rolioli. So that she may feel the wrath yes, this of the perfectly. <laughs> All we have to do is kill Prince Philip, who guards the way as an eternal lich. <laughs> well, All we have to do is kill Prince Philip. He did a damn good job of doing that himself. I'm sorry. Spread throughout the world, all with a series of interactions with each other, depending on location and timing. For instance, you could direct nuns, prostitutes, and Prince Philip to a church run like by I a said, lonely black Like I said, this is the one Souls game where you get maidens to send the nun into a yandere rage, or you could direct them to the nice woman who runs the clinic down the street, who only wants to help and assist. Oh, totally, just help. Absolutely just help. And into her just to like I. She has been just like I want to just help you. Just like I want to just help you. Get in my belly. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Anything on all of them in order to create the blue man group. And if you want, you can take the umbilical cord away from her schizophrenic oh. ass and eat it. The sky's the limit in oh. Bloodborne quest lines. And you know what my favorite quest line is? The when are we going to realize that most From Software games are just a way for FromSoft to project their own demented uh, serial killer tendencies? Get in my belly! One where you descend into literal hell, complete with eternal punishment, insanity, and femboy fishing. The scariest of them all. I'm of course talking about kind the of DLC. Fishing. The only DLC. Yeah, any femboy and fishes out there? Bloodborne, you have to play through the DLC. I'm not giving you a fucking choice. So to learn why, you should play <laughs> the best fair, expansion To be fair, he's very right. The DLC for this game was a definitely a level up. Drum, Come with me on this amazing journey to find the secrets of Yo, the Yo, Reaver, the thank you for the follow. Hunters. I want you to imagine hell. Now imagine hell written by HP Love. Welcome to hell, motherfucker! <laughs> I live there. I don't need to imagine, I live there. Craft. It will be filled with squids, immigrants, and air conditioning. This DLC yep. has none of that except like the squids. For you see, those college kids from the lore section of the video were built fucking different. They experimented on an entire village. If you manage to make it past the age of 16 in England, you've so officially become part of the. Uh, you've, 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 died, you've broken the odds. An entire game killing an you've infant, beaten the odds. Guys somehow killed the milf god. But somehow anyways, in the modern in the year, process of this, it cursed them with and modern medical and life advancements. In England, it is considered a 
for life accomplishment to get past the age of 16. From a political subreddit. Case in point, this is Ludwig. He's the first boss of the DLC. And Ludwig! For Ludwig! Aha! Uh -huh. Putting streamers and YouTubers into my video games, I see? Yes! Little do we know that this was uh, Ludwig's wake-up call to become a content creator. We have Maxor to thank for our glorious best content creator ever. It's not because he's bad. Hey, Genesis, I thank the reset for you. The first phase is as difficult for me as realizing that make golden corral is not actually chair, a real corral. But like every restaurant except I'm golden corral, I've never really struggled with this the boss. Delicious because his I don't know what this guy's complaining about. Harder. Now, I'm not going to lie. This DLC has four bosses and three of the hardest bosses I have ever fought in any video game ever. So your ass yes. will be clenched the entire time. This DLC time. The fact that he's the third hardest was one of the most gratifying concerning. to finish. Some people tell me, Maxor, your videos have I should probably go back and play time. Uh, because because at some point. I haven't but played it in boss, years. You are the one who I never even truly finished the DLC. These challenges, and I believe in your ability to beat both of them. King, oh, boss, of course they have round. the Moonlight Greatsword. The Every game they have to have the Moonlight Greatsword. Bosses, including Lady Maria, who is the basis for German's extremely creepy eight-foot-tall doll fetish, but we'll get back to that. <laughs> and Orphan of Cause, who was born from the literal dead body of a god. If you enjoy the sensation of being beaten to death with a sharpened placenta, this is the fight for you. And as with everything what? that from... Wait... I never fought this boss. Cause I never got there to begin with. Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha! Ah ha ha! Laugh at my jokes. Laugh at my jokes. Fucking unbelievable, you bunch of philistines. Boy, the sensation of being beaten to death. You know, at some point we'll go back and play this. this is the I want to see if I can beat boss. I've ne I, I, I never finished the DLC to get to that boss to begin with. And, and I've played all Elf Souls games for like four or five times, just never Bloodborne. Name for a fire monster locked in hell. Take my advice. Don't fight Lawrence. You only lose a part of yourself. Since this no, 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 no. This is this is the age-old sentiment. I've always wanted my game about. Maxor, Maxor, buddy, pal, my brother in Christ, you'd never win a Souls game. You're right, you're half right, but you didn't need to finish that sentiment. You never win in a Souls game, just like Escape from Tarkov, or in the AAA industry, or in England. You never win in any of these categories. You just suck slightly less every time. Unlike your mother. <laughs> dynamic dodging and elaborate fencing to be reduced to shitty area denial like it's Team Fortress 2. To wrap things up, the music of this game is pretty good, but the DLC music is fucking insane. I don't know what it is about Japanese composers being able to make better symphonies than the continent that invented them, but just take a listen. Holy shit, I am alive right now. <laughs> Have you ever thought, as I do, that this game is just too good, that you would really rather- It's called skill and knowing your crowd be playing a shittier version of the game such as the engagement of the chalice dungeons i of course jest they're fine probably, you just abuse these to get souls that's all because bloodborne has an optional system of infinite dungeon generation for all of those who which wish is to kind of weird i thought they would have used this in elden ring like i know they kind of did and maybe the game was just too big for them to like really like push it too much but I'm surprised they didn't like use the Chalice Dungeon concept more after Bloodborne. I thought the Chalice Dungeons were like of such a unique and like interesting concept for Bloodborne generally. Break free of the shackles of good level design. Let's talk about oh, how. Oh wait, I keep important. forgetting. Every time I keep thinking that I want to play Bloodborne, I remember that I have to play it on the PlayStation and play it 30 frames a second. I'm not sure if I'd be able to do that. <laughs> I know there's a guy out there who's like making an, uh, a, a, a mod that you can get to try and help in, uh, use AI to interpolate the game for you to try and make it look like it's at 60 frames a second, but fuck that. Mandatory. One of the biggest strengths of Bloodborne is the ability to have interesting and challenging enemy encounters gently rubbed with the bloodstained hands of Miyazaki. But I don't think I have to explain <laughs> to you how randomizing almost every encounter in the game could be imbalanced. But no, no, not at all. Not imbalanced. Just unpredictable. And a case of... Get good scrub, because my mom always told me that chalice dungeons were like a box of chocolates. You never know what's going to get shoved up your ass first. <laughs> dungeons are new to spare British people your wrath. So you Please, instead fight give SCP a thought for the British people. Remember, you can subscribe today for that low cost of $4.99 a month. Spare a thought for your struggling British streamer. 
who is trying to survive in a post-Brexit world. Your contribution of $4.99 a month for your tier one subscriptions will help feed a British streamer trying to eke out a living amidst these troubling, troubling post-Brexit times. Think of your post-Brexit streamers and how they struggle to exist. Thank you. Why are we here? It turns out that the entire city of London was built on a Celtic burial ground. An yep, ancient yep. civilization uh -huh. called the Tumerians who discovered the healing powers of blood. All, and all factual, all factual. Wow, and, I uh, what happened. This is all cool in the, theory, the Queen of England was in fact an eldritch deity who uh, enemies, has lived for centuries. dungeons can be replaced by Simon Says. My cat literally wouldn't notice. The chalice dungeons are so forgotten that the developers <laughs> use them to put joke enemies into the game. <laughs> My favorite is the man who aggressively rolls at you stark naked wearing only his Okay, but why he awesome. why he caked up though? Miyazaki, why he caked up? Why he walking around with a whole ass bakery? Like, damn! People say that I look submissive and breedable. This guy's walking around with a ball and chain and a friggin' scrotum in his hand with nothing more than his cake on show? My favorite Jesus. is the man who aggressively rolls at you, stark naked, wearing only his Nikes. The uniqueness also extends to the bosses, and they're actually pretty cool, like Tumerian Descendant, Watchdog, and the three overweight Watch men. Watch the dog Do you doing that. that basic enemy from like two levels? He is the boss now. Rom, <laughs> he is the boss again. The only thing stopping me from throwing myself into a wood chipper is the fact that Miklash isn't If back. I do play this, I'm gonna have to play replays, like a cast build. You probably want to make sure that they're actually good. In fact, the bosses are so fucking imbalanced that the Watchdog fight is primarily comprised of instant kill attacks. I beat Sekiro backwards on a keyboard and this shit is too fucking much. Now normally that would be all, but the dungeons go deeper. What we've discussed so far is merely the surface and there is a much darker syndicate lying just below. Yes, These this was, uh, this was my experience. Venture, for they are the save edit dungeons, whereby through wizardry, the community are able to conjure up deep dark chasms and share them with the rest of the world. Of these mm -hmm. secrets, there are only two that I shall reveal to you and the first is the cub dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you heard that correctly and clearly. The cum the dungeon. Cum dungeon is the hey, hey, now, the don't talk about my bedroom. route ever conceived by the fucking cricket people who do this shit, whereby the player enters the chasm of place. Yeah, this is the, and this is the one I was talking about. This is the one where you go in and there's just an enemy that's like off to the side here. And it's such a high level dungeon that the second it dies, like this monster guaranteed dies every time and it gives you like 20,000 souls. High level boss yeets itself off a cliff. Murgo's pig fisting route can give you 10,000 echoes. This gives 83,000. And if you thought that that sorcery was bad, it gets much worse. You can insert anything from the game files by save editing a chalice dungeon. Anything. This includes cut and unfinished content from the game oh, that the developers fuck. forgot to delete. Like this doggo who attacks you with invisible lightning. Overall, the not chalice patched. dungeons are bad. Bill, not actually it's a freaking FromSoft game. They leave I that in because them. it's Everyone. considered a feature. Because FromSoft are those cool people who when they see a bug, don't try and fix it. They make it part of the experience. Because sometimes these bugs are just as enjoyable as the game itself. Loves them because quirky, they allow if us you to will. Explore a long dead game these Souls the games get a bit quirky at community. night, you know? Now, before we sign off, I know what you're thinking. Maxor, what about the multiplayer? That I would love to talk about with all the footage I have, but it's dead. If this game releases on PC and it better, then I will... Oh, we're still waiting. Fuck! Talk about the multiplayer extensively. And finally, this game and this video would not be complete if I didn't talk about the hunter's dream. After all the combat, the battles, and the difficulty. These guys right here. These, these, these mother truckers. These, these guys. The, the shadows of Yarnum. I never knew that the casting couch had been moved to a graveyard until I got fucked by these guys. Screw these bosses! I didn't sign up to get put into a porno orgy, and I didn't want this to be the experience. After all the combat, the battles, and the difficulty of this game, it's nice to have a place to recharge, purchase items, upgrade weapons, and watch as it violently burns to the ground. This is where you'll find German slowly wasting away as his German. soul remains captive for an eternity, and his doll waifu that he sold his existence to be with. She talks to you, levels you up, offers you advice, and German says you're allowed to have sex with her. When I fell down and felt defeated. Well, don't mind if I do. Guys, don't mind me. I'm gonna go get a girlfriend. 
she was there to pick me up. When I emoted at her randomly, she pretended to be impressed. Oh and she my was god, there, she... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 I just made a connection. She is a non-real being puppeted by the imagination of a aged old man. German was the first VTuber. Oh. My. Dog. Standing in the background of this one shot. I'm not that saying. I'm not saying it's she a theory. She is our waifu now, but and myth the game confirmed. is perfect and complete because she is in it. Now, excuse me as I engage in the supplementary lore material. <laughs> Should you get the game? Yes, absolutely. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the age-old uh, man mandation of looting every firekeeper imaginable. I am biased. The day fact, that we get a, a male firekeeper for a From Software game right there with you. is the day that Rule 34 loses like its star. So, ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you've seen this live or if you've seen this on uh, YouTube, do make sure you drop by the Twitch sometime. Do make sure you go by our Discord where we all hang out and vibe and stuff. And, uh, you know, do all those social things that I need to ask you to do so that I can have some sense of uh, gratification in my life. <sighs> it's been a wild time. There's lots of stuff going on in my life. I'm in the process of moving house and selling stuff, so I'm not quite as uh, with it as I would be otherwise. But thank you for putting up my nonsense, and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Look after yourselves.